Hey everyone, it's Megan, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to crochet. So, your basic materials that you're going to need, you're going to need a size H hook, or whatever size hook you want to use for your yarn, but I am using a 4 weight yarn, which is the standard yarn size, and that pairs nicely with the H, so if you want to go up in yarn size, you've got to go up in hook size, if you want to go down in yarn size, you've got to go down in hook size, and then you'll just need some scissors for when you're trimming off your project at the end. So today I'm going to teach you how to chain, do single crochet, and do double crochet. So the first thing you're gonna need to do, I'm just gonna wind a bit of the yarn here. First thing you need to do is make a slip knot. If you don't know how to make a slip knot, all you're gonna do is take the end of your yarn, wrap it around the yarn here, and then take another piece of yarn and pull through. So now you have a slip knot that when you pull, will tighten up nicely around your hook. So the first thing to do, every crochet project starts with a chain. So how you chain is, you wrap your hook around the yarn and then pull it through the loop that's on your hook. Wrap, pull it through the hook. Wrap, pull it through the hook. Wrap, pull it through the hook. And then you just keep repeating that for however long you want your project to be. Since I'm just showing you guys a little example here today. I'm not going to do a ton of chains. So the first thing we're going to learn how to do is single crochet. You have your row of chains now. Since it's single crochet, you're going to take your hook, put it back in the second loop from the hook, take the yarn over the hook, pull it through, put yarn over the hook again, and pull it through both of the loops that you have. And then you're going to do the same thing again. You're going to take your hook, put it through that loop, Pull the yarn up through the loop, two loops on the hook, pull the yarn through the two loops. And then, same thing here, you're just going to take your hook, put it through the loop, yarn over, pull it through, two loops on the hook, and then pull through both. So that is how you single crochet, and that is one of the most basic crochet stitches. And the next basic crochet stitch is one where it's called double crochet. So for double crochet, you're gonna yarn over, then stick your hook through the loop, pull the yarn back through, pull through your first two loops on your hook, and then pull through two more. So I'll show you that again. You'll yarn over, put your hook through your chain, yarn over again, pull through the first two, pull through the last two. And so then you'll just keep doing that for however long you want your project to be. Now double crochet is a little bit taller than single crochet, so if you do them on the same row like I just showed you, your project's going to end up looking wonky. I just wanted to kind of keep it short and sweet to show you what's going on here. But getting to the end of my row here, And as you can see, when I complete my row there, pull that up, you're always finished with a loop. So you can continue on to the next row. You can see the double crochet stitches here that are a little bit taller. You can see the single crochet stitches here that are a little bit shorter. And those are all worked into your starting chain. So that is how you crochet. That is the basics. Have a good day. Thank you.